What is up ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Brandon Coin YouTube channel. And if you're not familiar with these things, um, uh, you must be under a rock because almost every creator on my feed is doing a video on these right now. But fun fact, Gold Shell did not send me this one. So a lot of people were just sitting at home, you know, other creators, and they just got these in the mail. Not, not your boy right here. So I went down to Mining Disrupt and uh, down in Florida gold shell had a table there and if you guys are not familiar shout out gold shell james super awesome dude um he's worked with me in the past we've done some stuff but to be honest with you a lot of the gold shell stuff just didn't interest me because a lot of it was kind of you know doa so to speak but these caught my eye these don't look like gold shell you could tell me this was made by another company and i would believe you i still kind of would believe you even if gold shell says they made it um it's just not this it's not gold shell's mo you know what i mean like okay for example this is gold shell this this is shout out voss coin by the way this is classic gold shell voss coin actually this is one of the ones that he sent out way back in the day when he was doing a bunch of stuff with gold shell uh mini doge one original classic Gold Shell basically took this design, these box miners, went crazy with them, built tons of them. They, <laughs> they still build miners that look like this to this day. Some of them are black, some have RGB. This, this is a whole nother level of quality. So, let me set that back down. If this is where Gold Shell's heading, because uh, we're gonna obviously talk about this device, but then the future. If this is where Gold Shell's heading, I'm liking it. I really am because for the longest time, Gold Shell kind of like marketed itself as like, you know, we're building devices for the home miners, but then they were always maybe a little too expensive or, you know, would lose profitability super fast. Whereas I, I think they're hitting a good price point on these. So these bad boys start at 250 bucks and you get a free card. So this is a dedicated mining enclosure. And right now this holds two cards. This, this is a card. Think of it as like, obviously it's not a graphics card, but think of it as like, you know, an ha a hash blade or something like that. Um, it runs on the the SATA, like uh, SATA data and SATA power. Looks kind of like a like an SSD or a hard drive. That's because it is on the same platform. Um, that's really cool because it's standard. Uh, they're using s standardized things here. So uh, for them to expand this, is not unreasonable because I'm like, hey, this is the two bay. Where's the eight bay at? Where's the twelve bay? That's what I'm. That's what I'm really interested in. So uh, before we jump in and talk about like what these things doing, what it's making, what it's not making, all that kind of stuff, I had to stop and take a moment to uh, almost just just applaud Gold Shell on this one. Um, so anyway, back to my story. Um, I did not get sent one of these, but it, this one was given to me shout out james at gold shell hopefully this doesn't get you in, tr in trouble but while i was down there at mining disrupt i go over to the gold shell booth and i'm like yo the bite i want one of those meanwhile i think like chump change and maybe rabid had already done their video so like obviously i'm late to the jump you know everybody else has got a video out on these um if you need to see like a technical breakdown and stuff you're probably not coming to my channel um but i was like james let me get that thing right there. This is obviously day one. There's two days of mining disrupt. They, they had two of these on the table. And he's like, nah, man, like, I, I can't. I can't. And I'm like, okay, that's fine. I'll be back. I want that thing. And he's like, what about, you know, like, here's a mini Doge 3. And I'm like, the bite, though. That bite. Fast forward, day two happens. And I'm like, hey, James, sun's going down. You don't want to carry these bad these bad boys back home. I'll take them off your hand. Just give me one of them. Just one of them. Meanwhile, they had already had units set aside for other creators that were like in boxes, nice and pretty. Um, you notice I got no box with this. There's no unboxing because there's no box. Got this bad boy straight off the table. I'm like, James, let me slide that thing. I'm going to show you some love. Shout out, James. Give that boy a promotion. Gold shell. Um... And, uh, and I, cause I, I love home miners, especially lower power home miners. 
a lot of people have been dogging on some of like the the low power like see i have a um a mars lander in the background i have some bid axes up here i'm actually expanding my bid axe farm um and this just fits right along with that because in the summertime the last thing i want is to have a thousand plus watt you know crazy monster running in my house whereas these bad boys i think they're like 120 watts um and you can put different cards in them so price point on these, they start at like 250 bucks and it comes with one free card. It comes with a Dogecoin card, which let me see. I think this is the Dogecoin card. Um, no, this is the Aleo card. Also, also another, another thing just to give a little bit of credit to my story here. Look at the, uh, look at the wear on this one already from sliding in and sliding out. That's because this bad boy was sitting on the table and everybody and their brother had their grubby little fingers all over it, sliding it in, sliding it out, you know, so this one's been well loved um hopefully it works now looking down inside there it kind of looks like almost kind of like a you know a nas bay setup where you could like slide hard drives in um so i was like yeah hey james give me the scoop when are we getting a bigger one he's like i can't talk about that i'm like when are we getting new cards are there going to be new cards he's like can't talk about that i'm like he's playing hard to get but you know what we'll get that information so um, these are, I have the Aleo card and I have the, the Dogecoin card. The Dogecoin card comes when you buy a device um, for free. Uh, and then you can obviously buy an Aleo card or you can buy another Dogecoin card um, or you can buy two Aleo cards. There's like multiple different options. Um, let's see here, but they're rated at 20 volts at 3.5 amps. What is that? Is that like 65 watts, 70 watts? 70 watts, I think. Um, so 70, 70, and then we have a 140 volt power adapter. Did I math that correctly? Yeah, 140 volt or 140 watt power adapter. So if those cards ran full out, it would pretty much max out the adapter. The only thing that uh, criticism that I have right now is it's powered by a type C. I'm just not a super big fan of powering like sustained load situations with type C. Um, Canan did it with the uh, the Avalon Nano and the Nano 3S. I feel like the, the original Nano 3 had its issues. The Nano 3S hasn't been out long enough to see if there's going to have issues, but a lot of them came down to like, um, you know, unsupported uh, adapter, that kind of thing. I don't know if Gold Shell has as much stuff baked into this to block aftermarket adapters, but hopefully not. Um, yeah, so max 20 volt, 7 amps in. So so 20 volts, 20 times 7, 140 watts, uh, essentially. Um, now, it also has a slot for a little flash card. I guess you could load it up with some of your favorite stuff. Maybe some somebody will come out with some overclocking stuff. So that'd be cool. But in the meantime, what I'm going to do with this, and uh, I'm probably not going to get it set up in this video just because I do have to run. I'm about to go out of town. Uh, but I did I did promise mr. James uh, that I would do this video and upload it because you know he stuck his neck out there for me so I'm gonna give I'm, I'm, I'm gonna reciprocate we even got cat on deck so shout out if you guys didn't know people were asking what what my name of the cats lightning um, so I'm gonna plop this bad boy back together but I wanted what I want to do is do some solo mining um, I don't know uh, anything about uh, Aleo solo mining or you know what pools support it so I am going to look into that, but I do know uh, Dogecoin solo mining has, has becoming a little bit of a thing. So this is not super high hash rate. It's actually super low hash rate, but it's also low power. So even if I don't hit anything, it's no big deal. Nothing ventured, nothing gained because that's the gambler in me. Some people are like, oh my God, I would never run a solo miner, like a little small lottery miner. Um, but I mean, if you don't risk it, there's no, no biscuit. Is that, is that how it goes? So... Yeah, regardless. Anyway, guys, um, look out for my full setup and uh, how-to guide to get your uh, bite solo mining at home. Why am I, why is my cat mean mugging me like that? Why are you doing that? I'm gonna set him in this place, boy. There you go, head rubs. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna get that up and running, do a, do a how full setup guide. If you need to see any of that any any sooner, um, shout out, uh, Red Fox had a really good video, Rabid, um, Jump Change also, I think there was a couple other ones, and they actually, I think most of them all had an unboxing as well, 
Uh, I'm sorry I robbed you guys of that because I robbed Gold Shell's table. At the, you know what I'm saying? Um, <laughs> they're gonna be like, they're gonna be like, never give him anything ever again. Uh, yeah. But anyway, uh, I wanted to circle back to the fact that go, uh, James was like, hey, what about this Mini Doge 3? And I'm like, hey, you guys already gave me a Mini Doge 3 Plus or a Doge 3 Mini Plus, however it is called. So I was like, I really don't have much use for it, um, like content wise, because it's, it's older hardware, you know, it's already been like beaten to the dirt. Um, but I could do like a giveaway. So um, we will be announcing, hold on, get this out of here and she's still sealed look at that factory sealed and it is they tore the chinese sticker off so we can't see their home address peep that leaked leaked address just kidding um but it is a with wi-fi without power supply mini doge 3 this is not the 3 plus that has an integrated power supply unfortunately but there she is. So we're gonna uh, announce that giveaway on the dedicated uh, bite video, probably at the end of it. So look out for that. And uh, I told James about it and he's like, yeah, well, that, that'll be good. You know, give back to the community, all that kind of stuff. Um, hopefully get this in somebody's hands that doesn't have a mini doge. That's, that's the goal at the end of the day. Um, but anyway, thank you all for coming out. I really appreciate it. What's this thing make? Hold on. I'm curious. Now I'm now I'm thinking about it. What does the bite make if we were to mine on it on a pool? I'm I am curious. It can't make much on Dogecoin because it's only like 80 mega hash. ASIC miner value. Are they on ASIC miner value? Because it's an ASIC. Bite. Aleo gold shell bite. Oh, that's actually more than I thought. No way, dude. That is nuts. Okay, so when they launched, they were making like $4.50 a day. E, they are not making that anymore. They're making 81 cents a day, and then they're burning 16 cents on power, so they're profiting 65 cents a day. That's actually bananas. That's actually way more than I thought. Um, as for where you can buy one of these bad boys, uh looks like i will put gold shell's link down below it i am an affiliate with gold shell so if you buy it from them through my link it does uh it does give me a kickback the only thing right now i'm unsure of how the tariff situation works so just proceed with caution because everything like shipping wise is changing <laughs> um i don't know if i think these are cheap enough that uh it doesn't matter, but I'm not sure. Let's see here. On Gold Shell's website, what do they cost? Boom. They cost... They start at... Are they out of stock? No way. Oh, they start at $254. And that's... So that's the bite with one card. And you can run it with just one card. Um, or... You can get two Dogecoin cards for 300, um, one Dogecoin and one Aleo for 450, or one Dogecoin and two Aleos for 650. Then that's three cards, and you can only run two. So it just it leads me to believe with them developing more, you know, uh, logically they should develop more cards, make a solo Bitcoin mining card, like make a, make a bit of Shaw 250. I know gold shell doesn't have, do they have any Shaw 256 stuff? I don't think they do make a Shaw 256 card, you know, and, and I'm not saying, but I'm saying like bid ax huge. Hey, let me plop in my, my, bid ax card or my my bitcoin card. oh shit, i about dropped it let me let me plug in my bitcoin card bid ax is doing what like a terahash at 20 watts imagine 70 watts like two four six like once you could probably pump like three terahash out of this thing in this form factor and they could probably use like like old ant miner chips or something i don't know it just seems logical to me and look at this, look at this. 
Oh, I like the mechanism. Um, seems logical. You heard it here first. I don't know. Anyway, sorry, I got derailed. Every time I start messing with that thing, it's, uh, it is mesmerizing. All right, so I'm gonna get this video up. Um, don't know what I'm gonna title it. Gold Shell Bite. Take a bite out of your wallet. Gold Shell Bite. I don't know why they call it. I mean, it bite, like bite size. Definitely could have called it something differently, though. I mean, I like it, but uh, I don't know. Gold Shell Bite. Bite one, and you'll need another. Gold Shell Bite. Um, yeah, I guess the video is over now. Later, guys.